What's up guys, today I'm on Rebels Off-Road. I wanna share a little tip with you. And this one I got from my buddy Nate. I know a bunch of you have this problem where that center clap comes out All it takes is a couple hits. I'm sure many of you have experienced this exact same thing. And caps are gone. You don't even notice when they're gone until you get back home and you're washing the machine or you're putting it up on the trailer. And then by that time, there's no way you're gonna go back and find them. They cost a ton of money. I mean, I think the cheapest aftermarket ones are like 30 bucks or something like that for a set of four. And so I'm gonna share with you a very inexpensive way to solve this problem. There's a bunch of aftermarket stuff, very expensive stuff, but I have a new method that only costs a couple of dollars. So stay tuned, smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet, and we're gonna get right into this video. The first thing you wanna do is head on down to your local big box store, whether it be Lowe's, Home Depot, what have you, and pick you up some of these two inch PVC cap pipes. This one's a uh, Nibco and that one will work. I think pretty much any of these two inch cap pipes will work. It's gonna be a schedule of 40, I believe. So you're gonna pick yourself up four of those and then get you some spray paint. Now, me personally, I'm gonna be using this Rust-Oleum Hammered Black, but you can use pretty much any type of spray paint that you want. A few light coats to begin with and then we'll go on a little heavier. I like the hammer because it gives it a nice texture and uh, covers up a lot of the imperfections that you might have um, from scratches and the rocks and stuff like that. It just gives it a nice look, clean look, I think. So I like to go with that hammered look. All right, I'm just gonna let that dry and then we're gonna go ahead and install them. So I have seen some other cheap ideas, you know, I've seen applesauce containers, I've seen paint, uh, you know, spray paint lids, and I think those are all very good creative ideas, but the Schedule 40 is just a little bit more durable, and that's why I went with this option. The other ideas, you know, very creative, very good if you want something for a quick, easy replacement, but I think the Schedule 40 caps will last a lot longer. So it is the next day, my caps have dried, Probably if I was going to do this again, I would use a different spray paint, maybe one designed specifically for plastic. Took a little bit to dry, looked pretty decent. And now we're going to go put them on the machine. You want to take off the tires that you want to put these caps on. You want to roll them over to the back side. You don't want to insert these from the front. That's what she said. Try to, you know, clean out this section here. You know, doesn't have to be perfect, but. So you're gonna take your cap that you painted and you're gonna set it right down in here. And it's gonna be a very tight fit. So you're gonna take a rubber mallet is what I like to use. You can use a hammer too. And you're gonna tap around until you get it started. You're gonna tap it down until it's flush with these uh, areas right here. Now that's pretty good. So let's turn it over and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks pretty nice. Got some dirt on it. Let's clean it up a little bit. That looks a lot, lot better than the open hole. So yeah, I'm gonna wipe this down because it got a little dirt on it while I was tapping, but no big deal. And uh, put it back on the machine and do it for all four tires. We'll cut to that and show you what it looks like. All right, so check this out. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? And look, 
I can't pull it out. There's nothing really to grab onto. And because of, you know, how it doesn't stick out a lot, it won't grab a rock very easily. And, you know, that edge there couldn't wedge that out really if you tried without actually breaking this. And PVC is pretty durable for this type of operation. So, you know, your wheel would get damaged a lot, lot quicker than this would pop out. And if it did pop out, which I really don't think it ever would, they're only like $1.70 or whatever to replace. So super cheap to replace if ever you needed to. But because of how low profile it is and because it's that thicker PVC plastic, I don't think it'll ever actually pop out. I don't think it actually will break. Now I might have to touch up the paint here and there every once in a while. If a rock gets on it or something like that, you know, make it look nice, keep it, you know, without white on it. But I think it looks really good. So just do a quick walk around so you can see. Yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. So thank you, Nate, for the tip and hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for more great content. We'll see you next time. Live life for the fight, yeah, I'm here to get it. I got drive, got sight, always have a vision. I go by at night, I be in my feelings. I'ma be fine, need time, and I'll soon be winning.